I met the leader of the opposition and Mr. Ifan Ali today, on Friday the 9th of August, to discuss matters related to the forthcoming general and regional elections. The leader of the opposition outlined his party's point of view, particularly about the, the, the way the list is going to be finalized and uh, the credibility of that list. Uh, he feels that uh, were we to pursue his formula, we could arrive at a date which is satisfactory to all sides. On my side, I pointed out that we were wedded to the view that the list had to be credible, and elections could not be credible without a credible list. So, in brief, we referred to our meeting with the Chairman of the Elections Commission on, uh, on Wednesday, on, on Thursday, mm -hmm. and um, we feel that her request to be given the opportunity to hear the judgment of the Supreme Court and meet with the members of the Commission was a reasonable one. And we would like to engage with her after the, she's done those two things, listen to the court's judgment and um, uh, engage her own commissioners. So the two sides are um, working towards a consensual outcome, but we have not altered our positions. The government position has not changed, um, that we are pursuing a course that can guarantee a uh, credible list and will be the basis of credible elections, and the opposition position has not changed. But uh, we are working towards seeking a common ground so that the Guyanese people can be assured that we will have credible elections in the shortest possible time. Yes, um, I, I think that the point that is emphasized is the centrality of the Guyan Elections Commission with respect to naming any date for elections. And on that, in that regard, I, um, I would wish to say that there has to be no agreement um, between the two sides um, with respect to a date. It was clear that the opposition had uh, their views on, on how they see the activities with respect to having credible elections. And uh, we agreed that we will examine those recommendations which they have and our recommendations will also be examined and be placed before the commission who will have to make a decision with respect to the dates. Um, the president had made it clear that he will not be naming a date which can in fact become impractical for the commission to, to uh, accomplish. And so that is an important issue that the Elections Commission in our presentation is central to everything that has to be done with respect to the elections and the date. Um, and so all that can be done is for us to help the Commission to arriving at um, a position which, um, given the resources and their availability and given their own institutional arrangements within the Commission, will determine what is how best and how early they can provide the information with respect to a date for elections. The President made it clear that we would like to see early elections and, uh, and that he has provided all of the resources that the Elections Commission require for them to work to produce that date and that um, it would not be in, in our interest to superimpose any coercive arrangements on the Commission that um, they cannot meet. Um, but I think that the meeting itself did um, provide some opportunity for finding common ground, and we've agreed to, to meet again so that we can examine in greater detail the issues that have been raised, certainly after the Commission would have met um, after the 14th of August when Justice George will give her ruling.
If I could add, <coughs> both sides made reference to the consequential orders from the Caribbean Court of Justice, and our interpretation was that the CCJ did not issue any coercive orders with respect to a date. Um, I uh, made it clear that it is impossible, if not impractical, for me, even though in the final analysis I have to proclaim a date, I could not do so without the advice of the Election Commission. So right now, um, we are agreed that it is the Election Commission, as the Director General just said, which is central to this process. It is an electoral process. It is not a, a governmental process, a, a, a parliamentary process. It is a, an electoral process, which is entirely in the hands of the Elections Commission. And um, I will continue to abide by the Constitution and pay attention to what the Chairman of the Election Commission um, will advise me um, to do. So we are aware of the dates. We are aware of the deadlines that have been uh, mentioned in the media. But what we are not aware of is the decision of the commission. And um, everything hangs on um, what we are told by the cha chairman speaking on behalf of the commission. So we are looking to hearing something uh, maybe in a week's time. But at the same time, I would like to assure the public that the meeting today with the leader of the opposition was uh, important and beneficial. It helped to clarify issues that still exist between the two sides. So the, there's been no agreement, but there's been greater clarity on the positions of the two sides.